Welcome to this video talk. Today we will be talking about one of the interesting subject called cyber psychology. We know psychology is related to human mind and cyber is related to internet connected world, the connected digital environment, how the digitalization and human mind is collaborated each other and how it is creating impact for the improvement of life quality of human being that will be taught in today's talk today. So fundamental aspect is we are living in the digitally connected environment. Digitally connected environment means it is internet, it is full of information. In the full of information, someone who is aware the best practices, how to capitalize this environment then they are being creative and they are really leading the soul on the same platform someone is just watching not doing anything just forwarding they are really wasting their time now in this field the new field new area of research cyber psychology we are teaching people what is the best practice? What are the best hygiene that everyone should obey so that they will not be victimized in the cyber environment? Rather, they can really become a victor. They can really become a victor and they will be becoming a victor by mature action, by conscious effort, by their proactiveness and that's how they can improve the life quality and move on. Is the digital environment completely secure? The simple action is no. Because everyone has to go digital because the physical environment has got a boundary. Lockdown may come. Overcoming those challenges, digital environment is only way to grow business. Make sure that their work is still available online. But Having the enormous benefit of digitalization, for example, online trading, online trading, online business, online knowledge transfer, online configuration management, online business in various verticals, the environment is not secure. The same environment which is delivering the business, the same environment hackers are trying to capitalize their knowledge, their skill set to their business as well. So security is one of the biggest aspect here. Now security has got three component. Security has got a service, security has got a device and security has got a mindset. Mindset is the final and end thing that everyone should take care, everyone should consider everyone should nourish, everyone should upskill so that the mind will become mature enough, will become conscious enough and every action should be done with a focused and conscious approach not becoming victim by clicking here and there and doing the mistake, rather taking conscious approach so that the life of the hacker will be really challenging they will be becoming really challenged by mature action of the human being so that they cannot do or crack very easily. Next comes very mature action will come only if the common people has got a great set of awareness. Great set of awareness how to maintain proper hygiene how to make their mind really boosted, not becoming panic, not being panic, rather being really mature, really enthusiastic to defend because self-defend is the best defense. Rather than become a victim, rather than become a panic, they should have a good creative network with knowledgeable people so that they can reach out during the incident. 
they should learn from the incident and take proactive measures so that they will be well ahead of repetition of the mistake and they will be really proactive enough to not doing the same mistake again and again. Not only that, the fundamental essence of hacking technology they should be aware of because hacker will try to get benefit out of any infrastructure. The hacking mechanism is very well done in the social media. Social media is a great platform. In this platform, we can connect to each other, but what to share, what not to share, what they should tell people, etc. That need to be very well connected. In this very well connected mechanism, what we need to all focus on following the best practice guideline so that we can do whatever we are supposed to do. Not sharing too much information, not exchanging communication to the stranger. There are three kind of people in the social media platform. One is good, one is bad and one is unknown. There should be much validation, validation process so that we can really think of doing you know or taking a measure really think of and take a conscious approach not only that the social media platform creating a huge benefit for mankind one who wish to upgrade their communication skill they can write blog they can do a vlogging so that they can really shoot video again and again and they can sharpen their skill. Not only that, with the help of social media platform, with the great innovation, one can connect to other childhood brain, professors, etc. and create a good bonding. But the same platform can be negatively used by somebody. Why negatively used that are being researched in the cyber psychology arena? There is something called criminal cyber psychology where the experts are scanning, connecting the dot and try to narrate or try to explain why this kind of behavior is happening. So behave safe, communicate safely, take right decision in right time and use the digital platform for a great game changer and do not fault do not make your fault really bigger so that you cannot come up strongly and setback condition will be strengthening for you no this cyber psychology provides you the inner insight deeper insight so that you will be aware of the situation and take further proactive action so that you can really act better really act with mature mind really be mindful and not doing the mistake one time not only one time not doing the mistake again and again and you can learn from your mistake learn from your other that is why the connected platform will provide a great benefit self-confidence is one of the essential mantra here so when you will be learning then share your experience to other get your experience corrected and that's how you can create a chain of common understanding common good hygiene common good practice so that the total threat landscape will be really narrowed down effective and efficient way of cia maintenance is required cia is confidentiality availability and integrity of the data so data or information is very much crucial and which is as per the law of land rule that means one data may not be shareable to other one data may be shareable to other based on the land of rule of land guideline that is country to country in that case know what is your country rule what is the rule of the region is this 
related to ISMS, is it related to GDPR, etc., etc. And any security mechanism, any cyber security practice and behavior comes from the individual. If it is an organizational request, it is an organization policy, then everyone should be responsible for obeying the organization. If it is an individual matter, then individual are collectively creating a behavior, a culture in the organization. So it should come from the individual. Individual will be a good thinker. They can really respond to the situation rather than the prompt reacting. They should be proactive enough and they should be very well guided by their knowledge, by their learning, by their upskill, upskilling so that as a whole they will have a clarity how to behave maturely in the digital connected cyber world and they can really have a great enjoyment of the benefit of cyber arena rather than becoming a victim. So this is a great topic of study. This is a great topic of research. If you are interested, get in touch with us and we can give you enough resources so that you will be practicing those best practice guidelines in the cyber physiology, cyber security and cyber hygiene so that you will be able to understand the deeper insight and upskill and align to the service portfolio so that you can train people, you can guide people, you can motivate people, you can cultivate the good culture so that overall society will be benefited.